it's perfectly legal for somebody who wants to build something at home for their personal use to do so. Federal, I mean, it's already covered. Here's the thing, though. I mean, we don't know where the ATF is getting their numbers. And I mentioned this yesterday. We don't know where they're getting their numbers. Now, the ATF director, did you guys see some of this yesterday? I was retweeting some of the stupid stuff he retweeted or he had tweeted. Big time lefty, Steve Duddlebach. Steve Duddlebach was a U.S. attorney. He's also from Cleveland, Ohio. Uh, he was, uh, he, he, this is something that he tweeted back in 2016. Quote, we salute Muhammad Ali as a great American. Sadly, we need to acknowledge that Donald Trump wouldn't even allow him to come to America. My favorite response to this were people who actually were posting all these pictures of Trump and Muhammad Ali together. You know, he was born here. I mean, his name wasn't, he was, Cassius Clay was his real name. Does this guy know this? Apparently not. And he had also tweeted, he was also trying to tweet stuff about, uh, he's like, oh, he was going off on Trump and China and their businesses. And I asked if he had any tweets about Hunter Biden and his business with China or Hunter Biden's falsifying a 4473 uh, before discarding a, a gun in a trash can across from a school. He didn't really have any response to that. This guy's a big supporter of red flag law. He's a big supporter of universal background checks, which to me, that's done. That all, If you're supporting universal background checks, you're already violating established law. First off, that's unconstitutional. It requires a registry to make it work. You have to have a federal gun registry to make it work. If you disagree, then please sit down and you can try to wow me with your expertise on how that works without a federal gun registry. I don't have all the time in the world, but I would love to use it as a living example of idiocy. So I'm your huckleberry. But with this, you have to establish a federal gun registry. Furthermore, it violates established federal law, Firearm Owners Protection Act. Firearm, uh, yeah, FOPA, Firearm Owners Protection Act, which is, that was, I think, at 86, 81, 86, I can't remember. It was in the 80s when it was passed. Uh, and that actually prevents a federal registry from being established. So, big, these are all huge things. And this guy is in support of all of these. And he's, he spoke to NPR. He gave a big interview to NPR where he talked about all this stuff. So, this guy, I really, you know what I want to say that he is, Ken? I don't think I can say it on air. He's a, that's what he is. He's an absolute. That's what he is. Uh huh. You okay? I'm all right. It's. I think it's a, 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 a an apt description. I think so too. Yeah. I, yeah. I know you would agree. Yeah. So, but this. Uh, he's. They're desperate. They're desperate because they wanna. They wanna turn around. They wanna turn away from all this stuff that's happening with inflation. He said yesterday that you can't buy a cannon. Yes, you absolutely can buy a cannon. You can buy a cannon. You could buy a cannon back in the day, and you can still buy a cannon. I had a whole piece on this. Washington used smaller art artillery that was privately owned by colonists. And he actually asked soldiers and privateers who would steal them from the British. Uh, and privateers were authorized, by the way, from the letters of Marquis to challenge British ships with their own, uh, their own privately uh, purchased artillery cannons. They had volunteer organizations that were tasked with independently purchasing and maintaining their own artillery. And in fact, I have one of those letters that was issued by the Continental Congress on October 24th, 1776 to James Powell, commander of a three-ton schooner in Northampton. It was signed by John Hancock. And it was uh, a letter and reprisal commissioned of a privately owned vessel as a privateer. And it also mentions his privately owned cannon. So sit down. These people who don't know history. Colonists could own cannons and citizens can own cannons now. I want a ghost cannon. I mean, there really isn't one. They don't have you know, serial numbers. But uh, one last quick thing, too. Uh, Biden said, can you play this this part? He said he banned uh, assault weapons and high capacity magazines. I think we I don't I can't remember which one this is. Yeah, play. Yeah, yeah. Uh, is it one? Y yes, play this. Oh, for the love. And I know it's controversial, but I got it done once. Ban assault weapons and high capacity magazines. So stupid. I was getting criticized when I first passed this law when I was a senator. Because guess just what? Didn't do anything. I was down in southern Delaware, do a lot of hunting and fishing down there, and I was w walking up one of the creek beds. And the guy standing there said, you want to take my gun? I said, I don't take your gun. He said, well, you're telling me I can't have more than the next number of bullets in, a, in, 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 a, in my gun. And I said, what do you think the deer you're hunting are wear Kevlar vest? What the hell do you need 20 bullets for? You must be a hell of a terrible shot. I'm serious. Think about it. Callie, this is a guy who told everybody. Shooting. This is a guy who told everybody to go on the balcony and fire off their gun in violation of law. First off, he, he, there, it wasn't an assault weapons ban. 
there was not a gun that was banned. It was a number of cosmetic features that were attached to the gun. That's what was banned. So you couldn't, it's like, okay, imagine it like this. You have a Mr. Potato Head. You can't, Kane, you can't add lips, eyes, nose, and ears to your Mr. Potato Head. Uh, you, you can only, uh, you can only have three things. So you, that's how you got to do it. The, the, the ban didn't actually even work. And, and I, I'll have something on that in a minute, but there were, obviously this thing ended up being, you know, they, they, they there was, there was all kinds of studies done. One in 2014, one in 2017, one in 2013, uh, one in 2004, 2001, 1999, 1998. Uh, there was a RAND review in 2018. Uh, there was a number of studies, including uh, this great abstract that I linked, quote, an examination of the effects of concealed weapons laws and assault weapons ban on state level murder rates. And it found the conclusion was that it had absolutely no effect. All it did was restrict the number of cosmetic features that you could attach on to a popularly owned semi-automatic rifle. Uh, and California was the first country or the first uh, state in the country to pass restrictions on magazine capacity. And guess what? Their crime spiked anyway. I'm going to tell you what, last point, I'm not worried about deer breaking into my home. I had a nut job who flew halfway across the country and tried to bust into my living room window four years ago. This is a stupid talking point that people like Joe Biden use to try to play dumb about the purpose of the Second Amendment. The Second Amendment isn't about deer. It's not about hunting. It's about curbing the power of a tyrannical government. The end.